everybody. This is Real Faction, aka Lawful Lord, and I'm here with Dante A six eight nine, aka Garrett, aka Dante Sparta. Anybody looking for me on WoW? <laughs> and this is episode seven of the Dish Out, the last episode, uh, at least of season one. I don't know if we're bringing it back because of uh, you know the issues we've been going through, but so might as well get started. This first song is. Equestria in Grey by Omnipony. Now, this song hits hard. Drum and bass, hard drum and bass. I love hard drum and bass, like, you know, Pendulum and stuff. And this is just wicked, you know? And from what I re recall, he's only 14. The kid is only 14, man. You know, the artist is freaking crazy. I'm like, you're 14? That's when I started. I did not make anything near as great as this. I, I still don't believe I do. Uh, it's just the, the only thing is, I feel like the drums are a bit loud and the, the, the bass is a bit in the background. But other than that, it's just freaking... Uh, it's good. It, it's not one of my personal favorites. Um... It's not really my style and taste of music, but for what it is, it's it, 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 it's good, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But there's not too much I can say, you know, it's, it's you know, it's like you like something or you don't like something. I'm kind of on the border on that. Yeah, I understand. Well, it's all good. Check out Omnipony at his new grounds. Freaking awesome music. Next we have Once More Into the Fray by Nexus Unleashed. Now the story behind this is it's a Breath of Fire 3 boss battle remake, uh, but man, freaking redid it well. Uh, lots of great instruments, you know, some of the people, some people would be like, oh it sounds so synthetic, but this is what it was meant to sound like, you know, this is like old video game music, I'm a big fan of that stuff, you know, this is just... I don't know what to say about it. I just love it. Yeah, you know? it, 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 it's it's a really good piece. You know, it's true to what it is. And people that say, "Oh, it's too synthetic and everything." Well, there's an old saying: you can't teach new, you can't teach old dogs new, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. And that goes with old video game music. You know, you can take it and try to re redo it. You know, you can make it sound good as this is, but you know, don't fix what's not broken. Yeah, or else that's the old, or else there's the other saying, "Screw you!" No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm not like that. Check out Nexus Unleashed on their new grounds. Yeah, check that stuff out. This time we're featuring a track that me and Dante did. It's the Imperial March metal cover. It's really, really short. It's probably gonna end. You're probably gonna hear the whole thing soon. So. Um, me and him just did a collab. He did a guitar. I did a, a little bit of a background guitar and the drums. Uh, so it was mainly the melody was just his idea, and I just threw in stuff. So you know, I don't, I'm actually producing his band's next record. So uh, that's where we got the idea for that. Was, we know figured it'd be cool. So go check that out on his SoundCloud. Uh, I think I thought it was really good the way we did stuff. I don't know what I can really say since we made the song uh, We'd be reviewing it. Uh, all I can say is I'm just really happy with uh, what we did and how the melody was arranged We have four artists this week uh, Yeah, four why because I planned for more episodes, but it's been hard to film episodes, so I didn't have any audio, you know, or any music planned, so I just kind of crammed them all in this episode. The first piece is by Glass Angel. It's Link's Mystic Woods, uh, also known as, I think it's Link in the Lost Woods, uh, you know, him as a kid. And this is the, this is one of the best Zelda art pieces I've ever seen, you know, outside of, you know, like, like fan-based work, you know, but it's like, I love the contrast and the dark tones mixed with the light tones, it's just, it's just perfect, you know, it gets off, it's such a uh, soft... It's a great, it, I thought personally it was a great picture altogether, um, you know, it's just Zelda for crying out loud, you know, 
and it, you know I've seen other good, really good fan art, but the, you know, as you said, the, the contrast and everything, it's just really good. It's like I also like the I also like the way she did his eyes. It's very anime esque, very TV esque as well. You yeah, know? yeah, definitely. Well, go check out Glass Angel at the Newgrounds. Awesome artwork. Definitely check it out. The next artist we have here is Flosh999 with Battle of the Moon, I think. It's like a wolf or a werewolf or something. I think it's just like a wolf and a, and a, and a unicorn, but this is like a freaking evil looking unicorn. I don't know. It's freaking. It's so detailed. That's the crazy thing. It's so detailed, you know? It's just. It's like an epic battle between a unicorn and a wolf. I'm like, it's so. It's such an unusual pairing. I don't know. Well, the way I the way I see it is like an epic battle between good and evil, because usually people well, yeah. see lichens as 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 evil and unicorns as pure and majestic and good. So it's like a so it's it's it's, it's an epic battle of good. And oh evil. yeah, that's you know that is true. Well, go check out Splash Nine 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 at their new grounds. Check them out. It's freaking freaking awesome artwork. Seriously, good job. Okay, next we have. Next we have my good friend Sansaka. We don't really get to talk much. He's a bit busy. I've been a little busy. Um, he actually did the artwork for my album last year. My album Exotic Land. He did all the artwork. And you can see extra artwork actually. Uh, the first on the top left is the album cover. And then you have the back of the CD, because originally I was going to make physical copies, but then that uh, didn't work out so well. I wasn't able to do it like I thought I was, and I got disappointed, but that's a track listing, and, and I put it in a video, like a teaser trailer on my YouTube that's like really old. And then the other two are like extra artwork, like one of them was scrapped ideas uh, for the album cover, I think, or the single cover, and R3 was the last single of the album. So the, the bottom right's actual single art. Um, I like it because it's like retro game style. I love his art style, and he was experimenting with, uh, I think, a new color palette of some sort. Uh, he, he was experimenting with new stuff, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Very, it's very eight bit. Well, I don't know about eight bit. It's more like I guess sixteen bit. I don't know the ga ga game well, bit. <laughs> Well, it could be like 8-bit, 16-bit, but no, no, like if you play like, like older like Nintendo games like Castlevania and stuff, it almost looks like the title screens of those of those old school. Yeah, games. that's true. That's true. But I like it. You know, that's cool. So go check out Sonsaka, but parental discretion is advised because he does make some explicit artwork. Um, so go check him out. Finally, we have You Are Not Alone with Small God. And now what made me really laugh about this, it just, I just came across this, I found it really interesting because she said, the story was, okay, on the description, oh hey, you know when you drop your cords or whatever and they get all tangled and stuff, well this is the little monster that runs around when you're not looking and tangles up all your cords or something like that, and I was like, that's, that's creative, that's just, that's funny, you know, and I'm like, I got future this, uh, I just love the detail, this is, this is extremely detailed, like, you know, the sc scrunched up, soft, what is it, foam of the the headphones. Yeah, it's so freaking detailed, and I, I just, I think she could make, like, monsters for a game or something. I know that sounds kind of weird, and that, that sounds kind of silly but with, from this picture, but I, I just, you know, I've checked out her other work and so on and so on, and she does a really freaking good job. Well... I hate to break it to you folks, but this is pretty much the end of the road because it's been hard to keep going with this show. Um, wish we could keep going, but you know, I'm gonna come up with a couple new show ideas in the future. For the meantime, um, add my Xbox Live gamer tag because I recently got Xbox Live, so Real Faction X, and if you want to add Dante, well, what's your gamer tag? Dante six eight nine like everything else. Yeah, so add me, Real Faction X, and him, Dante six eight nine. We have Trials Evolution. Uh, I have Soul Calibur five and Halo Anniversary. I don't know what else he has. 
Call of Duty re Halo Reach, stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, just add us. And on here, just add us on our screen names. I'm Lawful Lord, and this is... Dante Sparta. Yeah, Dante Sparta. Uh, Ten points to anybody that gets the reference. Yeah. Um, so just add us on World of Warcraft. We're on the Sisters of Loon server. Well, this is it, guys. But before we go, I just want to take a small moment uh, because I promised uh, him, I promised Garrett that I would do this. Um, well, for for starters, tomorrow is his uh, birthday. Uh, so happy birthday! How old are you now? Twenty. Twenty-three. I think almost an hour ago from now, thirty minutes to an hour ago, a year ago. Uh, his grandmother passed away, and, well, yeah, it's just, you know, I just decided to say that, you know, because it's, um, it's, not, it's a sad day, you know, and we wanted to pay tribute to her, so I didn't know her personally, but I'm sure she was a good woman. Yeah. It means a lot to this guy, so just like a take a quick moment of silence. Well, everyone, it's been great. JK, it's been great working with you. You know, but it's the end of the show, and I got things to go kill. Well, okay, if you say so. Well, I'm Awful Lauren, and this has been The Dish Out. It was good while it lasted, seven episodes. Uh, didn't get that noticed, but, you know, it was fun. I hope I've been able to help some people get out there. Well... Until next time. A shot for life.